Hello. Well, today's video is about disassembling the threading or feed gearbox that I removed from my Harrison M300 lathe in the last video. Um, I should explain that I am by no means uh, a gearbox expert. In fact, the only gearbox, other gearbox I've ever taken apart is the LT95 gearbox in my old 1980s Range Rover. Uh, there was a very good maintenance manual for that, but I don't have a maintenance manual for the M300. All I have is an exploded parts diagram, which has the parts numbered but not named, and that is of limited use. So I make a few missteps in the course of this disassembly, but we get there in the end. I hope it may be of some use to somebody else who's uh, thinking of disassembling this gearbox. Well, last time when we finally got the gearbox off the lathe, it was found to be full of rust and gunge, uh, with several stuck parts. Well, I poured petrol over it, and I've left it uh, soaking overnight. So, Right, well, looking a little bit better, but there's still uh, this stuff down here which I didn't get out. This gear still looks horrid, doesn't it? These don't look too bad now. That's the gear that looks bad. Obviously got to clean it, uh, got to take it apart now. Um, this is the top. One thing I have noticed is um, this is the lead screw and it doesn't move much. This is the feed uh, shaft and it's got considerable play in a bush or whatever there is here, whether this, this is where in the shaft or in a bush through which it's passing I don't know. But it's too much. I don't want to see that much movement. Well, I thought I'd take this shaft out first because it seems to be the easiest one. I don't think these just these forks just slide on this shaft and uh, I think the shaft just comes out this way when I take this uh, set screw out so that'll be easy to get that out we hope nothing to pull on it. Um, oh, I could get that out and then bash it I suppose. I wonder if that's necessary. No, it's not going to come easily. Might as 
will give it something to think about. Let's see if I can get Well, will it just come out if I just push it this way then? Yes. Right. It's just a plug. Right, so my theory is that I should be able to bash this this way. And there's an O-ring on the other end. And we can take these off. Are they all the same, I wonder, or are they numbered? I've numbered them, but... Um, I think they are all the same. Well, I'll keep them in, in in that order anyway. So this shaft possibly comes out in that direction after removing the split pin on there or the roll pin on that gear. But um, there's also probably a um, grub screw there holding it at this end. Right, Let's see if we can get that. Yes. And there's one at this end. I've noticed that. That should have freed both ends of this shaft, but we've got to do some stuff down here. Actually at both ends the shaft is running freely in a bronze bush and those grub screws retain the bush. And what I thought looking at it from the outside was the end of the spindle is actually just a steel cap sitting in the bush and there's no point in bashing on that steel cap. So I think we've got to get that roll pin out and that roll pin out and the whole thing looks rather manky so if there was anything in this I'd squirt it at it. How about this one? So I can't actually rotate this at all yet so and only clean it from one side. I just bash that out. Will it will it will it come out of the bottom or will it catch on something? Now we need a longer one. How about this? Oh. Well, now I can move this a bit. Well, I can't move it. <coughs> Thank you. So that's that one out. 
Now I can clean this up a bit more. Well, I think it is a roll pin. Well, don't don't do that, you silly boy. Don't think it will go any further. Oh, maybe it will. Yeah, I think it's out. Well, both of these gears are now free, so I think I'm going to try bashing it out that way. So I wasted a lot of time bashing on both ends of what I thought was this spindle, but what was in fact simply steel caps. Uh, so that had no effect. All you actually need to do is to withdraw the bush in, on the right hand side. It moves so easily, why, why, why can I not get this bush out completely if it wants to come out? something that see, I'm sure this is not how one's supposed to be doing it but right oh well now we know the answer that that thing is just a cap the inner Thing. It's just a cap on this, and this is the real malarkey, which came out quite easily once I realised what I was doing. I think you could now simply withdraw the shaft rightwards, well, I but I chose to uh, bash it out to the left, which is the wrong thing to do. I well, wonder the whole thing will come out right. Hurrah! So there's the square cross section which drives these Derwin Rin discs. Clear that, clean that up a bit. At least it's not rusty, is it? I don't know why it's so black. So one, two, three. Uh, don't lose the order of these. Do not lose the order of these. Whatever you do. Because it could be the end of the world if you did that. I see that this is a completely fixed structure when properly engaged. So now I thought I'd take this shaft out, which is the feed shaft. This being the top, that being the bottom of the gearbox. And uh, that's loose, that's loose. These are stuck at the moment. I'll loosen them in a minute. And I think I need to take these two roll pins out. And there's a grub screw in there. And I don't know what there is this side, so.
So I drill it out and replace it rather than uh, applying an enormous amount of force. Well, perhaps we'll just let it sit there for a while. Well, while that's going on, how about if I take this off and see if we can get any sense, understanding of of um, this thing. Oh, there are two. Didn't run, is that? Okay. I nearly stripped one of these things, that's why I'm being careful. That's it. Oh, don't be so light like that. Well, I thought... My theory is I don't need to undo that anyway, but a, a bit uh, more... Uh, force and uh, bloody ignorance should get this off. Right, I have got it going now. So that is that, that is that, which goes th through this gear. I've taken that pin out, but this suggests that there are other pins in here which I can't see because... So how do I get at these things? Given that I can't move this gear very... Maybe I should be able to move this gear at least a centimetre to the right. Do you think I could persuade this gear to move? Thusly. Is all I can say. Well, this wedge tool is almost good for the job, but not quite. It's a bit too narrow. I'm just wondering if. If I do something like that. It's not really. There's a rubber seal there. We're not bothered about that. 
But what we want is this thing to go further. Go on, you, you, can, you can go on. Oh, that's it. So there we are. And here, hurrah, we have another pin or something. Another of these delightful roll pins. Oh, good. My faithful old brass screwdriver, brass handle screwdriver. So, I've got that out of the gear, this out of whatever it engaged with, possibly that. It shows a grub screw here. I don't know where that is. It looks as if, with that out, this whole thing should come out that way. I do not see a grub screw anywhere. But, I'm thinking, whoa, goody goody gumdrops. That's certainly in advance. I don't particularly want to completely mash this this thing up. Why do I need this thing here? I just don't want to mash this seal. Well, for a start, why can't this, why can't this come out? It can. Right, that's better. So that came out of that end, okay. We didn't need to remove that. off. I haven't got enough um, plastic uh, cases. Second one, tail stop upwards. Third one, tail stop end upwards. Fourth one, tail stop upwards. And fifth one, So I put them like that. Ah. And this will come out. That's the worst gear. Tail stop upwards. And this thing doesn't need to come up, does it? Well, this seal is okay. This shaft is in two parts and what I thought was a grub screw on the parts diagram is actually a third roll pin which holds the two parts together. Well, I've got two shafts out of this gearbox and there are two more to go. I'm going to split the video here because otherwise it's going to be too long. 
So part two will be removing those other two shafts. Thanks very much for watching.